All right, so in this video, I've got my 10 favorite sneakers for the summer of 2022. Now, if you're into sneakers, you'll notice that every once in a while, something like this happens. There will be these hyped up releases like Travis Scott Air Max 1 and Air Trainer release, the Union 2 drop, and some other things. And obviously that has a lot of eyes on it. That's a hyped up release. Now at the same time, certain shoes will drop right underneath the radar. They won't get as much attention because of those other hyped up releases. And that makes up a lot of the shoes that are on this list. I think there's only one from last year. I've got a little hype in here, but nothing too much. These are all shoes that I was able to acquire without anyone really helping me out. I bought every single pair in here, so I'm excited to make this video and I'm even more excited to wear these shoes this summer. If you're new around here, I create content around sneakers and men's fashion. The hyped up shoes and how much a pair is going to resell for, I'm not your guy for that. It's not me. But if you care about your appearance and you want a good outfit to go along with any sneaker that you're wearing, it could be from any brand, it could be an affordable option, it could be something that's $29.99 on sale. If it catches my eye and I think it's cool, I share it here on this channel. And if that type of content is your thing, consider subscribing. Okay, first up, let's kick things off with a pair of New Balance. These showed up today, they are so good. Special edition boxes for the Teddy Santis New Balance releases. Look at this shoe, man. Most people look at this like, oh, that's just a dad shoe. You know, something that I could see a 60 year old man going for a jog in or walking his dog. Well, guess what? You can also see someone that's a teenager, someone in their 20s, 30s, or 40s wearing these with an incredible outfit. It is no longer just a dad shoe. It's an every one shoe. This is the 990 V3, by the way. Easily the most comfortable and wearable shoe on this list. I'm gonna be pretty quick with each pair, but I mean, man, just look at that. Look how nice those look. Wow. And I know most people know New Balance for suede and New Buck, but the leather on this pair, same price as a pair of Jordans nowadays. And that's coming from a guy who has Jordan brand as his favorite brand. But let's go, let's go back to back with a pair of Jordans here. And this is the Muslin 3. Now I don't need to do too much chatting about these because you've probably seen everyone else on YouTube show them to you and then forget about them. I just wanna say a lot of Jordans are a pure white. So when you see something like this in this really light tan and off white, et cetera, it can totally change the way your outfit looks. I would wear these threes with the outfit I'm wearing over like white cement fours, if that makes any sense. My shorts are an off white, so it just works better. Okay, another pair I just got in the other day. This, this week has just been crazy. I kindly ask, that you don't sleep on this shoe. This is the SC Trainer High. This is the Auburn colorway, and they are totally a classic. Bo Jackson in the house. The price on these was 130, by the way, which isn't too bad. Is the quality amazing? No. Is the leather as nice as those New Balance? Not even close, but you get that nostalgia. This is that 90s feel. How did I get these? I think on finish line, maybe, or maybe Hibbit, one of those. I don't know if any of these are still available. If they are, I will link them down in the description as well as put a list. Okay, this next pair of Nike Air Max. Air Max in the summer they go hand in hand. And the Air Max 90 Bacon absolutely has to be on this list just because I love them. The quality of materials on these is much better than most other Air Max 90s that you can buy. I don't think that these are reselling. I think they may actually be reselling under retail. Is that right? What was retail? I think it was 150, 140. That might be a lot. Next up, of course, Air Jordan 1s are gonna be on this list. A lot of people don't know how to style this sneaker. A lot of people don't like to wear Air Jordan 1 highs in the summertime. I like unique colors on Jordans. Yes, the classics matter, but how many times are we gonna see red, white, and black on a pair of Air Jordan 1s? Why not go for something like this? Also, they come with three different lace options. If you want these to be less loud and a little bit more wearable, go with the whites. It changes the look of the shoe, makes them less flashy. I need to do another Air Jordan 1 lookbook. Which ones are these? Am I saving these? All right, and then as you know, a couple months ago, Concepts dropped one of the best Air Max collabs of the year, that's for sure. It's probably in my top five of sneaker releases for 2022. How could this pair not be 
on the list. This is certainly the most fun Air Max I've had since probably uh, the Sean Witherspoon. How cool are these, man? I know you've seen them and that this is probably irrelevant to you, but if you're really looking for a way to stand out with your shoes this summer, it's a good one. Okay, and then another pair of New Balance. I've been wearing them a lot recently. They're like my go-to menswear shoe. They're not even really laced up that well. They're all loose. So, Ame Leondor 650s in that forest green and white colorway. I kind of feel like this is New Balance's version of an Air Jordan 1. You know, it's just a high cut retro basketball sneaker. My favorite way to style these is with kind of a slim fit khaki that can go over the ankle area. Just feel like it's a different look. They're so simple, but at the same time, you know what's up. And then all of these next pairs just came in recently too. You know the box, the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navy is also a sleeper. I am very partial to Jordan 6s. These originally dropped in 2000. They're one of the first Jordans that I've ever seen. So I'm very six respectful. There's just something about them. I can't really even explain it. Something about Jordan 6s. I love that outsole. Another one of those shoes that you'll be able to buy under retail? Probably some way these will be under retail. Maybe you find them at an outlet I saw that the Green Bean 5s were like $50 under retail somehow. Wouldn't be surprised if these are right behind it. And then caught a little restock of these ACGs. This is the Nike Air Moab and the colorway is Twine, Fusion Red, and Club Gold. If you're a smaller size, you can find this shoe under retail relatively easy, but for some reason, I don't know why, but anything over a size 10 and a half nowadays sells out immediately. I'm in an 11 and a half, that's my true size, which is obnoxious. So if there's a shoe that I want and it goes on sale, no chance I'm finding my size unless I really put in the work. So unfortunately, I had to wait for these to pop up. I grabbed a size 12 and they actually fit me great. So maybe they do run a little bit snug, but I've always been intrigued by this model. It's a little bit different. I think people are intimidated by it. Not me. These are gonna be my new hiking shoe. Check out that outsole. Love how it says Moab right there. Tinker Hatfield design with some other ACG gear. I'm gonna be all about these this summer. ACG on the low has really been stepping it up across the board. And then last up, like I said, it is the summer of Air Max. If you get down with Air Max in the summer and there's a particular model or colorway that I should check out, definitely leave it down in the comment section. And if you have any other summer sneaker recommendations for all of us, definitely hit the comments. So, colorway on this one is Light Matter Root and Vivid Green. Holy smokes, these are nice. Are you telling me this is in the summertime on a pair of sneakers? Super excited that I was able to get them. I think that they're probably right around retail, if not sitting somewhere. I remember the days of Air Max Ones when they were super cheap. They didn't have this nice, aggressive shape to them and they were a hundred bucks or right above that and the quality was just awful and the shape no good. So I will gladly pay a little bit more for something that looks like this. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna see some men's fashion and sneaker content, subscribe if you're new around here. I've been dropping a lot of content recently, so if you've missed anything, make sure you go check it out. Hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you later. Peace.